Our planet is being devastated by forest fires, with over 10% of the world's forests suffering from a fire every year. Take the fires that occurred in California last year. They killed 45 people, destroyed over 9,000 buildings, and burned an area that was more than three times as big as London. My name is Jose, and let me tell you, with an early warning system like the one we are developing at Internet of Trees, fires like those in California will never have such a devastating effect again. So how does a fire in a place like California become so large? It's simple. The majority of them started during the night, when less fire monitoring was being done. This is the problem. As the California fire chief, Ken Pimlot, said of the fires in October, every one of those fires had a fighting chance to get going long before our firefighters could even get there. This is where we come in. Internet of Trees has created the Fire Ranger, an internet-connected module that is installed in the forest to quickly and accurately detect fire, smoke, and temperature variations. When a possible fire outbreak is detected, alerts are sent to key stakeholders via SMS, email, or our web app so that they can take immediate action. In that respect, we're a bit like a baby monitor for forest managers, letting them know exactly what's happening in their forest, even if they are not there. We have two customers, governmental organizations and timber or logging companies. The former, because they are responsible for extinguishing the fire and protecting the people who live in the surrounding area, whilst for the latter, every hectare of burned forest is a hectare of timber they can't make revenue from. A forest fire for them is quite literally burning their money. Now imagine you were one of these customers. You currently have two ways to monitor fires in your forests. You could use satellite imaging or thermal camera systems to find hotspots, but they are unreliable because they generate frequently faulty alarms due to various natural phenomena. Or you could use other environmental sensor networks, but be aware, they can be up to four times higher in price. By purchasing our Fire Ranger modules and our monthly subscription package, customers can now get a better, and a better solution at a fraction of the cost, with one Fire Ranger module needed per roughly every hectare monitored. Armed with a better and more cost-effective solution, we're initially targeting Central and South American countries. In Brazil alone, there are approximately 185,000 wildfires every year, with the paper and pulp companies exporting four billion pounds worth of product, yet having to spend 2,700 pounds to reforest one hectare every time a fire occurs, and they lose out on five years of potential income. As a team, trust me, we're not a bunch of pyromaniacs. There's often an interesting story behind why a startup was founded, and ours is no different, although it is much more dangerous. Last year, our CEO Getting almost lost his house to a forest fire in the mountains nearby. That's when he decided to bring together a team of five engineers that were passionate about the environment and the problem of forest fires. We have previously worked in tech startups, and cumulatively have over 25 years of experience in telecommunications, mechatronics, project management, and software development. During the past three months, we have tested our devices in Epping Forest here in London, and also in our home country of Honduras. These have been fully functional in two very different weather conditions, with minor improvements and modifications being made as a result. We are now about to start pilot programs with two forests in Honduras, with the Canadian government organization looking to run a pilot with us during a controlled burn in the coming months. At Internet of Trees, we are now raising 150,000 pounds to add a data analyst and expert electronics designer to our team in order to reach our final product design, to carry out two three-month pilot projects by the end of 2018, and finally, to bring th the first three paying customers come 2019. We want to be the eyes and voice of your forests providing life-saving insights to help our customers protect what they care about the most. 
the forests, the people who work and live there, and their assets. Thank you for your time.